In this tutorial, we'll look at the functions that can be used in Selfframe Office Publisher. As soon as you click on the Selfframe Office Publisher, you'll get this dialog box which allows you to open a new document. In order to open a Selfframe Office Publisher, the first thing you have to do is open a new document in which you can choose how you want to open the new document and the format, the layout of your new publisher document. You can choose between single page, double sided page, threefold or fourfold. You can choose the size of the publisher that you're going to open, the document that you're going to open. Then you can choose whether you want portrait or landscape, the width, the height, and then you can choose the first pages. You can choose the margin guides as well, where you can choose the, the layouts left right top bottom then you have options of the number of pages that you want to have for your publisher then the default unit is whether it's in points or millimeters or in inches centimeters then you can choose whether you want to have it want to have automatic text frame or show document settings after creation and then once you're done with the new documents you can go to open existing document if, if you've already created a previous publishing publisher document you can go to your settings and look for the place in which you have saved your, your publisher document that you've created earlier and then open it then you can open most recent documents it'll have a list of recent documents that you have created in Selfframe office publisher once you've done with all the settings to open a document, click on OK. When you click on OK, you can see that your publisher opens up. And in publisher, the first thing you'll see is file. And in file, they have new, which you saw earlier, how to open a new. They also saw how to open an existing document and open a recent document. And if you click on close, it will close this particular Selfram publisher document that you have opened. Then you have the save and the save as. Save and save as functions in file does the same job where you choose the location in which you want to save this particular document that you're going to create. You can give a file name, give a file name for the document and choose the file type, which is the publisher type. You can choose whether you want to have a preview or to compress the file. And once you're done choosing the place, click on OK and it will save this publisher in the specified location. Next in file that we will see is collect for output. Click on collect for output. And you can choose the directory in which you want to collect the output. Choose the location, choose the file. Once you're done, just click on OK and it will collect the output. The next thing we will look at in file is import. You can import images or tags from Adobe Illustrator, Postscript, SVG, Selfram Draw Image, import SVG or WMF in just one method. Just click on any of the import method, choose the location in which you have saved the image or the text, go to that, click on which document you want to open and click on OK and it and it'll open up the image or the document that you would want to insert into your publisher and then the next we can do is export you can export your particular office publisher that you have created into various formats which is you can save it as EPS or save as PDF save it as an image or save it as an SVG format Choose whichever format that you want to save your particular publisher in. Once you click on it, you'll get this particular dialog box in which you can choose to put in the output of the file, the name of the file. And then you can choose the range. In general, you can choose the export range, whether you want to export all, all pages or choose pages. You can choose whether you want to rotate. You can compress the text and graphics. You can choose the compression method, the compression quality the maximum image resolution that you want to put in for this document. Then you have the file options in which you can 
choose the compatibility of saving your particular document. Then you can choose the binding whether you want to put left margin or right margin. Then you can choose whether you want to put general thumbnails, save link text frames as PDF, articles, include bookmarks, resolutions. And if you go to fonts, you can change the font to be embedded into your document. And then you have to choose the outline for your fonts. And then we have extras in which you can put presentation effects for your publisher if you want to put in. We're going to put in, then we have the effects where you can choose display duration, effect direction, effect type, moving lines, from which place, the direction. Then you can apply the effect to all pages. Next, you will see is Viewer. In Viewer, you can display settings such as how you want the document layout, whether you want it single page, a continuous, or double page right. Then you can choose the visual appearance, how you want the visual appearance to be. You can use the viewer's default or use full screen mode or display bookmark stat. Choose the option. Then you have special actions where you can apply JavaScript to be executed when PDF document is open. So it's up to you whether you want to choose got script or no script. Then we have security. You can use encryption for your saving process. All you have to do is create the owner and the user. Just put in passwords. And you have the setting that, that you can choose when they open the publisher, whether you want to allow them to print the document or allow changing the document, allow copying text and graphics, or allow adding you know, annotations and fields. It's up to you on what options that you want to, be, want to provide. And then we have colors. You can put output intended for maybe screen and web, which has different colors, printer or gray or grayscale. We have pre-press. In pre-press, you will see the printer marks, how you want it to be like, whether you want it crop marks or bleed marks, registration marks. Then you have offset where you, where you can set the points. If you're going to put bleed settings, then you can put the point in the top, left, right, bottom. You can use the document as bleeds. If you have a PDF X, X-3 output in 10, then you can put the output profile in info string. Once you've set all these options in save as or export as in a particular format that you've chosen, click on save and it will save in the settings that you have set. As the conclusion in files, is how to open a new publisher, open an existing publisher, open recent publisher, close the publisher, the ways to save your publisher, collect for output, import your publisher and export your publisher.